Tonight, a Florida original helping police investigators track suspects through so-called legacy data. The finder system translates data between agencies and then shares the results in seconds flat. News 6 investigator Mike Holfeld found law enforcement agencies in neighboring states are starting to join this network as well. When law enforcement agencies need critical information about a suspect, Billy, what's this guy's name? Chances are the intel between local and federal agencies is being translated, then shared. It's something that should have been done 40 years ago. By the Finder system, Florida Integrated Network for Data Exchange and Retrieval. What kind of intel are we talking about? Uh, any information that the law enforcement agency would have in their records management system. So everything from a traffic citation to an incident report to arrest. News 6 was given exclusive access behind the scenes of the Finder headquarters. The Florida nonprofit is connecting law enforcement systems that could never interact before. They're all different. For the record, the Finder system is already being used by 135 agencies across the state. 100 federal or visiting agencies are using it as well. Director Jim McClure. We approached it with the idea of let's just try to be the translator between all of them. New 6 has learned that critical data is now being accessed by Alabama's newly formed Metro Area Crime Center in Jefferson County. Currently we have five agencies that are uh, have joined and we're looking to spread it throughout the whole state. Jefferson County Sheriff's Captain David Thompson says the system is impressive. We spoke to him via Skype. It allows us to look at actual police reports from other agencies and get the information we need instantly. Cops have been collecting information forever. It's how to get it out of those systems that brought us to, to be. Over the next few weeks, News 6 will be tracking Finder to see how the results have been panning out, not only in Central Florida, but Alabama. Are they tracking suspects? Are they making arrests? We'll have the results. Mike Holfeld, News 6.